Yeah, this Aethergast is obviously going to do a good job of keeping Igor Karim, uh, you know, a little more alive, but there's a spell piece, mm -hmm. all right, sure. Pay for it, pay I guess. easy, easy deal. Okay, I still have enough mana to pay for this spell piece. What are you doing, man? I mean, yeah, sure, you're getting, you're getting the prowess triggers, but, like, what's what's the plan here? Oh. There it is. A the mystical dispute as well. functional. <laughs> yeah, functional spell piece. Enough to get in for Xaxes. Settle the wreckage. I'm glad you asked. Oh my god! A hundred card historic brawl! Settle the wreckage in hand after I called it. Riley, here we go. Nothing ventured, nothing gained here. Seasoned Pyromancer can let you ditch your hand in this case to draw two cards. Mm -hmm. And we need exactly two. We need Bone Crusher Giant and an untapped red source. Need the uh, the Bone Crusher Giant with Stomp, which uh, stops the, the nine lives from preventing mm -hmm. damage. And we need the red source to cast the Stomp, Dennis. And wouldn't you know there it? There it is. Look at that. I've always maintained, Dennis, I've always maintained that magic is a very skill-testing mm. game indeed, and Charizard James is showing us just how skill-based this game is, ripping the actual perfect two off the top here, and is going to win the game on the spot because of it. Yo, what's up, Titan Smash? Oh, no. No. <laughs> If this was the only way Tibble Stricker had ever been used, Riley, I think it would have been balanced the way Wizards intended it. I think this is actually magic as R&D intended. Tibble Stricker getting rid of an eye twitch? Why are you scared of an eye twitch? Now you have to deal with a lolf. What was that? I'm terrified of an eye twitch, dude. Like, if, if only it had been something like a lolf, you know? Raise the alarm. We found their win con. We didn't know what it was, and now we know. I've now found their win con. I don't like it. You fool didn't play around triple tithe. Listen. My opponent had Sky Tether main deck and then sported out of all the bad cards and boarded in good cards like Memory Lapse and Teferi. How am I supposed to win if I know that? Their, their tempo play of two soldiers are going to win them the game. Oh, it hurts. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. I can't look. I can't look. Ow. Man, Valk Valkmir is a problem. Nope. Oh no. Wait, what just happened? Why was this five mana? Oh no. It came in top. Oh no. It came in top. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Did we do it? Yes. I attack. Holy shit. I attack. I attack. I attack. Everyone's clenching right now. No. Oh, he lost. He lost. I attacked. No. No. What? Oh, he lost. Oh no! <laughs> oh man! What? Uh, okay, I want them to kill this first. So I play this first. And I want these two to, to cast my other spells. <laughs> stop, opponent! Stop it! Please stop! Please stop! Please don't do it to me. Don't cast another land destruction spell. Please no oh my Let's go fight distortion. Ah yeah. Feel the power of the six mana black sorcery. Thought distortion come forth. I summon the winged dragon of Ra! Oh! Oh! Hog champ! Oh! 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 What the heck, dude? I was 
Someone's exaggerating. Oh, a royal rush again! Oh my god! Take her! Face! Oh, double Chandra emblem! Oh, is this... Yes! Oh! I guess I should just use this anyway. Wait, is this game? <laughs> oh, face damage! Oh, no freaking way! <laughs> All right, give me Scorpion off the top right now. It's just too good to be true! It's just too good to be true! It's just too good to be true! What the heck, dude? Cheating! They have Fatal Push. I don't care. If they have Fatal Push, they're gonna use it now. Oh no, it goes back in the deck! <laughs> no! Oh, if they have Fading Hope, I swear. I'm gonna pay three life and then they're gonna Fading Hope it back to their hand, I'm gonna cry. Okay, I didn't say that. Oh no, I should've played Thalia first! No, I should've played Thalia first! No, don't do it! No! No! The second one got Approach. Wait, that still counts as casting, doesn't it? Wait, what? That's the worst possible... <laughs> that doesn't work the right way. Riley, does your opponent ever make a play that doesn't seem to make sense on the surface, but then over time starts to kind of come together a little more? Yeah, this Aether Gust obviously going to do a good job of keeping Eagle Carrium, uh, you know, a little more alive, but there's a spell mm -hmm. piece, all right, sure. Pay for it, pay I guess. easy, easy deal. Okay, I still have enough mana to pay for this spell piece. What are you doing, man? I mean, yeah, sure, you're getting, you're getting the prowess triggers, but like, what's what's the plan here? Oh. There it is. A the mystical dispute as well. functional, <laughs> yeah, functional spell piece enough to get in for Xaxes. Settle the wreckage. I'm glad you asked. Oh my god! A hundred card historic brawl! Settle the wreckage in hand after I called it. Riley, here we go. Nothing ventured, nothing gained here. Seasoned Pyromancer can let you ditch your hand in this case to draw two cards. Mm -hmm. And we need exactly two. We need Bone Crusher Giant and an untapped red source. Need the uh, the Bone Crusher Giant with Stomp, which uh, stops the, the nine lives from preventing mm -hmm. damage. And we need the red source to cast the Stomp, Dennis. And wouldn't you know there it? There it is. Look at that. I've always maintained, Dennis, I've always maintained that magic is a very skill-testing mm. game indeed, and Charizard James is showing us just how skill-based this game is, ripping the actual perfect two off the top here, and is going to win the game on the spot because of it. Yo, what's up, Titan Smash? Oh, no. No. <laughs> Yeah.
If this was the only way Tybalt's trickery had ever been used, Riley, I think it would have been balanced the way Wizards intended it. I think this is actually magic as R&D intended. Tri Tybalt's trickery. Getting rid of an eye twitch? Why are you scared of an eye twitch? Now you have to deal with a lolth. What was that? I'm terrified of an eye twitch, dude. Like, if, it, if only it had been something like a lolth, you know? Raise the alarm. We found their win con. We didn't know what it was, and now we know. I've now found their win con. I don't like it. You fool didn't play around triple tithe. Listen. My opponent had Sky Tether main deck and then boarded out of all the bad cards and boarded in good cards like Memory Lapse and Teferi. How am I supposed to win if I know that? Their, their tempo play of two soldiers are going to win them the game. Oh, it hurts. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. I can't look. I can't look. Ow. Man, Val Valkmira is a problem. Nope. Oh no. Wait, what just happened? Why was this five mana? Oh no. It came in top. Oh no. It came in top. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Did we do it? Yes. I attack. Holy shit. I attack. I attack. I attack. Everyone's clenching right now. No. Oh, he lost. He lost. I attacked him. No. No. What? Oh, he lost. Oh no. Okay, I want them to kill this first. So I play this first. And I want these two to, to cast my other spells. <laughs> no. Stop, opponent. Stop it. Please stop. Please stop. Please don't do it to me. Don't cast another land destruction spell. Please no, oh my. Let's go! Not distortion! Uh, yeah. Feel the power of the six mana black sorcery. Not distortion, come forth! I summon the winged dragon of Ra! I was exaggerating. Oh, a royal eruption again! Oh my god! Kicker! Face! Oh, double Chandra emblem! Oh, is this. Yes! Oh! I guess I should just use this anyway. Wait, is this game? <laughs> oh, face damage. Oh, no freaking way. <laughs> All right, give me Scorpion off the top right now. It's just too good to be true! It's just too good to be true! It's just too good to be true! What the heck, dude? Cheating! They have Fatal Push. I don't care. If they have Fatal Push, they're gonna use it now. Oh no, it goes back in the deck! <laughs> no! Oh, if they have Fading Hope, I swear. I'm gonna pay three life and then they're gonna Fading Hope it back to their hand, I'm gonna cry. Okay, I didn't say that. Oh no, I should've played Thalia first. 
No, I should have went down at first. No, don't do it. No. No. The second one got approach. Ooh, what is up, gamers? Little bit of a short stream today because we have a couple. I have a couple meetings today. Imagine having meetings. I'm not used to this. Because you know, once you when you have a regular job, when you have to go to work and stuff, it's weird, right? You don't have meetings. You just have meetings at your regular job instead of having meetings for with like people that are like part of Magic the Gathering, which is cool and fun and awesome, and exciting. But Bonds a uh, Brew Wolf. Redeem critique, critique my deck. Okay. Give me a link to your deck and I will critique it. There's a cat in my room. Hold on one second. I let the cat out of my room. Good. Wanna get out? Yeah? Yeah. Goodbye. You guys didn't know I had that in me, did you? you? Guys didn't know you had that in me. Hopefully you heard that. I have a meeting in downtown PDX. Haven't had to drive down there for work in over a year. Why start now? <laughs> what What's PDX? Oh, goalie? I feel like I would understand that more if I knew what PDX was. You're a self-made businessman. Get used to meetings. You'll love to hear it. Portland, Oregon. Oh, why is it called PDX? Phoenix. All right, here's your MTG Goldfish link, Bond. Let me put this into my. Okay, now first I have to I have to ask you, is this comp supposed to be competitive or is this supposed to be fun? Or is it like like how competitive do you want this to be? Competitive, you like to win. Okay. Winning, I must say, winning is fun. Alright, so here we go. Here we go. I know Jeskai Hinata is not the strongest, but I like playing it. I mean, it's pretty freaking strong. Airport code, same as ATL. Oh, it's the airport code. Fair. But I, I like I don't I don't think anybody says I guess that's what that's the lingo for over there, right? That's the lingo. Because like for here in Florida, like like I guess around the Orlando, around the Orlando area, like Nobody says MCO. Like, nobody. N ever. MCO is the abbreviation of the airport, but, like, I don't even, I couldn't even tell you why it's called MCO. I mean, I guess I can look that up. MCO Orlando Airport. Why is it called MCO? Why is it called MCO? The airport designator code MCO comes from the former McCoy Air Force Base, named after Colonel Michael N. W. McCoy, on which site located at minus 81.08 west, 28.96 north. Okay, you didn't have to get that specific, Google. 
and at 113 feet, 34 meters above sea level, Orlando International Airport now stands. Wow. So it's MCO is McCoy. The things you freaking learn. Am I playing in the Crokey's Alchemy Tournament on Saturday? I did not know there was an Alchemy Tournament on Saturday, but I mean, I'll play in it now. Crokey's Alchemy Tournament. I did not know it was Saturday, but now I have something to do on Saturday. Sick. Broken, busted, absurd. Plus, I think the Alchemy Metagame Challenge is on Friday. Two hundred and fifty-six players. They have more slots left. How do I get to that tournament? Is it in, is it in MTG Melee? MTG Melee, Brokey. I don't know where this tournament is but let's go ahead and get into the Hanada deck while this is loading does that count as a random historical fact it, it does today months and months and months months and months and months there's the game thanks for coming back you're keeping me here going strong only two months left until you are a charizard how has it been 10 months it feels like yesterday thirsty Kane, it really does feel like yesterday you say MCO when you want to cry? I hate flying into the airport. <laughs> Actually, more hate flying out of MCO. Security always sucks. Oh, for sure. By far the worst airport ever for me so far. I mean, I've never been to LA. I've never flown into, like, the middle of New York. But. The Atlanta airport is so bad. So huge. Insane. You have to, you have to, like, if you, if you're late to your flight, you have to basically run a marathon to even get to your plane. You have to get to the airport, like, four hours in advance to freaking get to your plane. Like, you gotta, you gotta ride, like, three trains just to get to your freaking plane. And God forbid you mess up. If you mess up, you are out of luck. You're not getting to your plane. Good freaking luck. Chunky Toast, thanks for the follow. Like, you gotta be precise. You can't mess up. You gotta be looking at your freaking gate number like a hawk. You gotta have it right close to your eyeball. You gotta not mess up. You have to be precise. You have to make clear, decisive actions. You can't eat anywhere unless you get there four hours in advance. All right, let's go ahead and get into, into Hanada here. March of Swirling Mist is broken. With Hanada, must say. Inscription of Insights is uh, an interesting one. Uh, are most decks, are most competitive lists playing this card? Neon MTG Neon Championship Guest Kai. Well, we're going to look at John Emanuel to, to Pros build. This has um, four Hanada, two Gold Span, three Spike Field, two Flame Blessed Bolt, one Disdainful Stroke, four Braid. Okay, so they really didn't want to lose to the, the Anvil deck. Two Valorous Stand, three Negates, one Sajiri Shelter. Three Gerard Destruction. Two Unexpected Windfall. One Memory Deluge. Four Magma Open. Three Shatter Skull. Four Iteration. Two Celeste. So he's not playing March of uh, March of um Rolling Mist. Not playing Demon Bolt. Not playing Prismatic. I guess he's, you're, you're playing for his Markman over like one copy of Negate and over a Valor Stand. Which is fine. You're playing Inscription of Insight in uh, Inscription of Insight and Demon Bolt 
over unexpected windfall. You are playing another copy of Goldspin Dragon over a memory deluge. And you are playing another Goldspin Dragon over a copy of Flame Blast Bolt. And Smart was rolling this over a Flame Blast Bolt. Now, I don't think these changes are necessarily bad, but I think they're more all in on the Hanada game plan. Um, there are more Goldspin Dragons in this deck, which could mean that you're you're, you're okay with with being all in there. You can just win with Goldspan Dragons instead. Thank you, Riley. There's only four players left. Alchemy, it's a two-day event. Oh, that's probably why. Hold on. I gotta check my two-day event calendar. Yeah, I can't play in this because day two is on Stream League. Stream League is on the 27th. And if this is a two-day event, I can't play in it. Because on Sunday is 10 a.m. Round 7 begins. Tournament plays out so completion. Yeah, I can't play. You mean the Hints News <laughs> Not sure I thought it was good since it's cheap with Hanada. That's true, but it requires you to have Hanada in play and not die, and also requires you to also have Inscription of Insight, which is the reason why I think that he didn't play this card. But if it was me, I would personally want more draw power. I mean, yeah, you have four expressive iterations, but I'd probably cut one Inscription of Insight and one Gold Spin Dragon to play a couple draw spells. Number one, I, I would play I would definitely play two unexpected windfall by cutting Inscription of Insight and Gold Spin Dragon. Whether you want to cut Demon Bolt or one Prismatic Command or a or a, either a Beholding Multiverse or a Memory Deluge, it's up to you. Also, um, it's up to you whether you want to play the Fourth of Raid um, or like two Valor Stance or like a couple copies of Flame Blast Bolt, but you don't have to. Of course, Marshall Swirling Light is really, really good with Hanada. You don't have to have the same build as Johnny Manual to Pro, of course. You can like play whatever you want to play, but this is a really good shell for sure. And you don't have to, I don't think you have to change your name. But for me personally, I'd probably cut a Gold Span and Description of Insight for a couple unexpected things. I think that card's just like insane. But also, you might want to play a couple of one mana removal spells to, be able to make sure that you don't lose to Thalia, which is the reason why I think he's playing on um, a Flame Blast Bolt. You also might want to consider playing. You also might want to consider playing um, March of Otherworldly Light, because um, that way you can deal with other opponents' creature lands for one mana, and also it's like a pretty good, um, it's like a good all around card. Uh, March of Otherworldly Light also gets rid of also Exile's Artifact. So you can also use that uh, that way as well. You can even play that over Prismatic Command if you want to. But Prismatic Command being able to ramp into like Hinata plus a spell is like really, really strong. Like Prismatic Command going into like making a treasure and then hitting your land drop on turn four means that turn five you can cast Hinata and have your wire disruption up or Hinata negate, Hinata abrade, Hinata valor stance. So I think you really want to do that. Um, I might even consider going up a Prismari Command over over the Demon Bolt. But 4 damage might be like really, really freaking strong. But also, I would also consider the new Alchemy card. Um, it's a Sorcery, which is a lot worse. But the new red 4 damage Alchemy spell that says whenever you cast your next instant in Sorcery, deal the excess damage. I think that card's broken. Um, you might consider playing that um, over playing, you know, Demon Bolt or over playing a Goldspan Dragon or Inscription of Insight. The new... Two mana, four damage card is broken. Basic lands are a trap. Yeah, no lands, no respect. So that's where I go here. Let's let's check let's check JED's sideboard.
Starboard is an island or uh, two smoldering eggs, three malevolent hermits. Okay, there's no hermits in here. There's three hermits in the sideboard and no hermits here. Uh, maybe maybe you just don't like the level of hermit, but maybe I'd consider playing some. A flame blast bolt, a disdainful stroke, three test of talents. Also, no test of talents here, so I guess you are more concerned with record and bank buster, like the, your draw power in your sideboard. Okay, so this is what I would do. This is what I would do looking at this. I would put your draw power in your main deck, and then sideboard some hermits and test of talents. And then Brittle Blast is also really strong. There's two copies of Brittle Blast in the sideboard. And Brittle Blast is really, really useful against the Sacrifice. Um, so I would probably cut the Burning Hands. And I'd play a couple Brittle Blast in its place. I'd find a way to put one or two Flame Blast Bolts somewhere in here. A couple of Hermits in here over the Reckoner Bank Busters and Memory Deluge. And swap Memory, put Memory Deluge in your main deck. And put um, a couple Unexpected Windfalls in your main deck. Uh, maybe cut a cut inscription, cut like a gold span, uh, or and like cut a demon bolt. But I think that's where I'd start. So um, that's that's all I have for the for the for that. I I don't want it to exceed ten minutes because there's a whole deck tech uh, thing that I can do for that. So that's what I'm going to do there. Uh, I'm going to send it to you. Actually, I, actually, it's the same thing. I didn't actually make any changes, but um, that's where I would start. But today we're playing some Asper. Play uh, what was that? Was that good enough for you? Well, oh, that was good. Okay, cool. Oh, and that and that was Al that was standard or alchemy. Actually, I need to look back if that was standard or alchemy. Because you can't play the four damage sorcery if it's standard. Okay, never mind. Then don't play the four damage sorcery. Because you can't. Oh, let's get started. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight planes walking. We're busted, chat. What's up, Jamers? Today we have a planeswalker filled Esper deck. And let me show you how we're gonna win with this one. We have eight planeswalkers. Count them eight. Mordenkainen, Professor Onyx, Nico Eris, Lolf Spider Queen, The Wandering Emperor, Sorn the Mirthless, The Fairy Who Slows the Sunset, and Kaido Suzuki. Are we winning with this deck? We're going to put as much Planeswalkers on the board at the same time. One notable card in this deck. Farewell. Exile all artifacts, creatures, enchantments, and graveyards. Notice it doesn't say Planeswalkers. We're getting, going to be getting rid of everything and then keeping our Planeswalkers alive. We also have ways to. Uh, wipe the board also like Doomscar and Meat Hook Massacre and some instant speed removal as Faithful Absence, Power Word Kill, Vanishing Verse, and March of Otherworldly Light. This deck is insane, and currently I'm at number 132 Mythic, 123 Mythic, something like that. And we're going to try to break the top 100 Mythic with this today. Also, 60% of you aren't subscribed, so make sure to hit the subscribe button if you find this entertaining, valuable, and you learn something. And as always, it all starts right now. Let's go! What's in store for us, chat? A lot of crap. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, should I tell them something, chat? Chat, sh what, chat what do I respond to this with? Chat, what do I respond to this with? If anybody is qualified to respond to this, it's me. It's Mountain Dew and Cool Stuffing. Imagine being offered Halo and New Capenna and they bring this out. <laughs> Just Halo Mountain Dew. I'd honestly like this. A lot. And then I show them a picture of me with Mountain Dew in my hand. I'm pretty sure I have a picture of me with Mountain Dew in my hand. Some freaking where. Oh well. What is my ranking? 134. Alright, no black mana, do we keep this? I'm on the play? Level 99 Herbie, how are you stopping streaming right now? It's literally 1 o'clock p.m. What are you doing? What's up? I think I mulligan this. I don't know, as long, if there's not a, if they're not an aggro deck, then this hand's pretty good. Just like Wandering Emperor as my spell. I think I still mulligan this though. Alright, this is a little bit better. That was a really tough mulligan decision. Epic unplanned 12 hour stream. Sick. I want Odawara. Yeah, I want that. It's an untapped land. I can cast Power Kill on turn two. Lanes. Okay. Glad to finally be able to raid you. Is this the first time you've ever raided me? Unironically? It might, might actually be. Am I power word killing this? I think I am because if I don't power word kill this turn, I'm also not power word killing next turn. I don't want to take four damage off of a freaking professor symbology. Give me a break. Give me a break. Welcoming vampire? Can I can I take my power word kill back? One, two, three, four, one, two, three. I don't quite have enough to do that. So I think I'm just passing. I do get a loot. Give me the loot! Did 
Did you get raided you one other time? But yeah, I'm not usually I'm not usually sleeping around this time. Oh, for sure. Hey, what's up, Ray? All right, so we're gonna plan to march the welcoming vampire and and the fairy and hope to draw a spell. Not getting to draw here. If they get past summoning and then go land past summoning, I'm kind of like, kind of unfortunate. Oh crap! That's a cleric. I want Kaido. If I want Kaido, I can get it back anyway. As long as I don't play another acquisitions expert. And if they do, I... Yeah, it's really bad if they play another one. Ooh, about to save my Vanishing Verse. Can't stay away. Give me lol. That's not a planeswalker. Unfortunately, no matter how I wrap this up, my Planeswalker dies, right? If, if I get Teferi and I go Teferi plus... So I can go Teferi and then plus an Vanishing Verse, but then my Teferi still... My Teferi still dies to double Professor Symology plus Acquisitions Expert. If I get Kaido, I can Kaido minus and still hold a Vanishing Verse. Card. Seems like an easy block. I'm just gonna bring it back. We can't stay away, right? So I just take the damage. What else do they have? Palace Blood Mage. Make a 1-1, one, one, uh, draw a card, exile a graveyard. Decent draw. Now 
this is a juicy secret. Gosh, if I had, if that was a smart play from them reduced memorying my Celestis, now I can't farewell. But at least if they try to attack with the Hive, I can Vanishing Verse it. Okay, they're attacking to make, make sure that this dies through removal spell. So then now it just dies. I have a lot of planeswalkers in this deck, and any planeswalker is really good here. I mean, yeah, they have confront the press, which can kill a planeswalker, but I have to eat that card for sure. Well, I mean, I guess I just gained six life. Brutal Cathar at night. Did they cast another spell? Yeah, they, they have the environmental sciences to flip this, right? But next turn, I can just farewell. If they block. Really? Now they get in with Hive, right? We're in a kind of weird spot here because I know when I draw a Planeswalker that they're going to kill it. And I also need to save my Vanishing Verse for this. And they also have a Field of Ruin. But not much I can do. I'm just going to have to eat the Field of Ruin here. And I drew my only basic land for turn. Of course, because why not? Why? Why wouldn't I draw my only basic land when they have a Field of Ruin? I drew it four turn. Wait for them to attack because I don't have anything in my graveyard anyway. Please don't have Dead Loose Butte. They drew another high for turn. <laughs> I just proved to them that I had it in my hand. All right, can I stop drawing lands, please? Oh my god, stop drawing hives! I'm gonna keep this land in my hand just in case they had drawn Acquisitions Expert. So I can discard this land and still cast this. March of other worldly delights, so three left in the deck. Please don't death the dispute. Sigrid? What is what the heck? Uh, I'm drawing lands now. I just got Sigrided. What the heck, dude? Who plays this? Mm -hmm. Try not to let your blade do the talking. What is this deck? 
I've never seen a lot of these cards played in a deck before. At, le at least not really that often. Can't stay away, Callus Blood Mage, Acquisitions Expert, like, freaking Sigrid, top decking multiple hives, back to back. Crap! I'm not gonna exile my Tutu! Guess I should save the damage then. I should have cast this after that, I wouldn't have blocked. How do I do this? I need... I don't think there's any way I can win this. Yo, what's up, Josh? Greetings, doppelganger. The fact that they have this hive under this, and then when this dies, the hive comes back, and they have this hive means I'm probably dead. Like, I can draw farewell, but that doesn't do anything, then they get the, they have the hives. This is just a game where, like, I didn't draw any of my card advantage. Well, here's card advantage, but it doesn't really do anything. And I, I can't even bust this because I would lose a life. The essence of life is inseparable from the essence of death. Mm, sorry, you don't make great. So that game was we did we was uh, we drew Kaido to draw a card, but other than that, we didn't draw any cards that actually gave us more cards. We didn't draw Nico. We didn't draw. Like we drew Teferi, but we would have to minus that and have the Teferi die, and that's not good. We had to discard it through the Celestis, and they killed our Celestis at the perfect time. It was just a weird, a weird sequence. All right, we are keeping this. Sentinel. Oh, think I want a Fateful Absence this turn? Hopefully they don't play a Magda. Okay. Is it worth Doom Scarring here? Probably just up the ranger class, right? But I want to show them I don't have double white for Doomscar, so they don't play. So they don't play around Doomscar. They might think I just like, I just don't have double white yet, so they might just like commit to the board. Never mind. Now I fateful absence. Take one, they can't utilize mana.
gonna take this. They drew chariot. If playing Vorian Clex against runes that just drew uh showdown, it's very satisfying. I know, right? Alright, so I need to I ganjo the Sika's chariot. So I guess I need to just Wandering Emperor it? Like, give it an attack? I wish I had a different land that I could just play Celestis plus Land plus Iganya, but I can't. I guess like Ganyo and Wandering Emperor fill similar roles. Plus like Ganyo doesn't work on Chariot if they Ranger class it, so. Well, actually it still works, I just do it in response. But this fills a similar role. Plus, it's actively good for me right now if they happen to have another chariot and just cast it, because then they lose a chariot. Dragon's oh, Okay. So it's Gruel, it's Gruel Magda, like the old Gruel Magda decks. It's just, uh, it's just, um, it's Sentinel, Magda, um, Reckless Stormseeker, Dragon's Fire, Chariot, and Goldspan Dragon. Did I forget to attack, or did I already attack? I think I already attacked. The, the difference between this Gruel Magda deck and the one that was amazing in Tier 1 was that the amazing Tier 1 version had um, Edgewell Innkeeper and Bonecrusher Giant. And Lovestruck Beast. And now if they don't have a Tamiyo Safekeeping or something, then they're, they get blown out by Wandering Emperor here. Zebra, hey bud, just wanted to say hi and love your content. Watch you every day while I'm working. I realize I've never said hi, so here I am. Wow, thank you so much. That actually means so much to me. You don't, you don't even understand how much that means to me. I, I never know if you're watching me unless you say something. My judgment is fun. It means a lot. Thank you for saying that. And strike hard. Lost this button in work. The system can't fix everything. Now, what do we have here? Well, here I am, just to put in perspective, I got 30k channel points. That is a lot of channel points. That is a good perspective. <laughs> That's a that's a good perspective. Thirty K. Means you've been watching for what? At least at least a month or two? Or maybe maybe on and off for like three or four months. Thanks for being here. Happy to have you. I don't I don't know if you've caught 
you, you've been here for so long, you already know about my YouTube channel. I don't know if you watch uh, Magic on YouTube, though. All right, what do they have here? Another Dragon's Fire? Gold Spoon Durgan? Gold Spoon Durgan. Also, by the way, guys, I'm working on a new emote. And I guess this is a good time to say, hey, click the like button on the video. It really helps the algorithm. Appreciate it. Shatter Skull, Shatter Skur Smirching. You've watched some of my videos? Nice. You'll love to see it. Glad you're liking them. Now they're gonna go kill my Wandering Emperor and lose one of their tutus. Whoa. Oh, I see what they're doing. I see what you did there, opponent. Please don't buff your tutu. Please don't buff your tutu. Please don't buff your tutu. All right. I'm never done for good. Oh no! Play with fire. You're kidding. Oh well, I have Morty. We have Morty. Task mage with a wand in the ring. To control, uh -huh. one must first know. I feel like keeping the Vanishing Girls was more important than keeping the March. Because March can't kill Goldspan in this spot, and Verse can. Blocker or freaking blocker. At least my Morty stays alive because of my vanishing burst. Stay alive, Morty. Oh, there will be Soren? next time. Okay. Maintaining Ooh. balance requires Heck. insight. What's better, Morty or Keck? Or, or Loth or Keck? I mean, Keck or Soren. Let's represent Vanishing Bird. Children How do you like my planeswalkers now, opponent? This means I can also block gold spin. And they scoop! Planeswalkers are too good for you, huh? 143 mythic, let's freaking go. So I put a dad joke in my thumbnail of my YouTube video, and it's literally one of my worst videos in the past 10. Our Boros Modify deck that I posted yesterday says Boros Modify, and I thought that was a really good, a really good name because you know it's a it's like a pseudo burnish deck, Modify, but I guess people don't seem to like that.
is by far my worst video out of the last 10. Yikes. I'm gonna keep this because I have March of the Otherworldly Light and Doomscar in my hand and Farewell. Like, no black cards with no black lands is fine. They're saying hi with Tamio. I say hello. Oh no. It's Henge 8 Pathway. Oh, it's a Henge Gate mirror match. Record of Bank Buster. I don't want them to draw cards. What Planeswalker do they not play? <laughs> right? They are artifacts or still control? Alright, unfortunately we still don't have black mana. I don't know why, because we have a ton of black mana in this deck. We have like, what, 16 or 17 black sources? Please don't draw our disruption me. Alright, can, can, can you calm down, opponent? Opponent needs to freaking... Calm down. Tezzeret? Maybe. Maybe Cletus? Lynn's thinks to the follow. Okay. Maybe not hold the multiverse? Okay, I can't cast my spells. No! I have so much black mana! There we go, but it might be too late. Don't see this coming. What are these cards? Oh, they're Doom's cards. You could have such power, but you are too weak to take They have to be Doom's cards. Or that, that one card they just foretold is Voldemort. Oh, Eight collapse. fall into my web again. Okay, please don't farewell. Please don't farewell. I got nothing to bring back. That's the new scar. At least I'm up on that exchange. I don't think they have saw coming. I am vengeance. Bloody righteous. I would draw a card to see if you I can hit my land drop, but I want them to think I have something here. Another faithful absence. Know that I will not abandon All right, at least I have a two-three. All right, I can power kill that thing next turn. Um, I just need to hope that they don't like. Ooh, I can't power kill that. Our poor Lolf died. Unfortunate. Stop foretelling things. I mean, at least if they foretell things, I have a finite idea of what those cards could even be. So I guess I want them to foretell things. See if they kill this. It is standard today, Palumbo. Congrats on top 200. Thanks. I've been in there for a while, but this is the first time I put it in my title. Um, We're going to power kill this. I think I'm just going to pass. 
Last month, I upkeep to make sure that I do this with, with, with making them have as little information as possible. Alright, is this two more Doom Scars? I guess it could be Elrond's Epiphany. Could we behold the multiverse? It's not, though, because they didn't use it. Oh. My. God. Things that I don't expect for 500, please. Might just meat hook massacre. Yeah, I think I just meat hook, right? This is about as good as meat hook is gonna get. They can't stop this, I don't think. Unless they have like a null. If I attack, they just block. Oh, I guess I say I, I would have saved two life there. But then they wouldn't have lost a life? I don't know. It's close. Is this going to be a creature land war? It's like I have one march of otherworldly light left over for their for their cave, so I should be able to win this race. Let's freaking go. Number 128. Moving on up. Wait, guys, can we get a really big shout out for, for, a, for a mod in here because it's their birthday? They weren't expecting us to do this, but let's give Thirsty Kane a big old clap for their birthday. Happy birthday. And we also have a pet the mods command. So can we pet the mods? Give it, give it, give it a nice little little pet on the mods. And if you don't have that emote, you can type in exclamation point emotes and download the extension to get the emote. a mountain. Go blue just to scare them. I have Jawai Disruption. I have Jawai Disruption. Ooh, scary Jawai. Wow, didn't he even play into it. I said, ooh, scary Jawai, and they didn't even listen to me. Now I, gotta, now I gotta play Celeste just to pay for the ward cost. Ooh, that's a scary card. It's also Christmas's birthday. Yeah, sick. Alright, so the plan is. We do this, we do this. We fade collapse into the Ronin. We chump block a little bit, save some life. They get they get rid of the Ronin, the patchwork goes to three. At least. The ingenious myth goes to three. We get rid of the Ronin, then we farewell. Lizard blue. 
They give double strike. They cast Ronin. Please cast Ronin. Thank you. Just don't cast second Ronin. Okay. more important, my Celestis or... Oh, Farewell is uh, worse than Doomscar here, so... I think we just Doomscar? I guess I could Farewell and get rid of my Celestis. I know something you don't know. But I don't want to do that. I have these left over. Stabilizing. Stabilizing. We have stabilized. We're all in. We're all in. Battery. Do this, make a two two. I hope you're ready to lose. Keep watch for intruders. Your blade do the talking. Get in. Let's go. Give me top, give me top one hundred. 104! 104! Uh, and then we'll scald your toast? Yeah, something like that. Or like a lot of haste creatures, like Thundering Raiju. If you didn't catch my video. If you didn't catch my last video about the Boro, the Boro stack. <clears throat> we do have a showdown in there, but we also have a lot of haste creatures. We killed our opponents really, really fast. You're glad Christmas isn't still around? You're glad he isn't around? Oh, you're glad he isn't around to, like, combat me with it? <laughs> to, like, banter with me? Get a whole rant on decks that make tokens and contain sweepers? <laughs> That's funny. Who'd have been like, no, James! You don't understand! Hey, Godfather, what's up? Generous visitor. I have to take a turn off here. Weaver of Harmony. I'm gonna have to get rid of this card. 
Pick right now. We don't have time to wait, chat. We can't even wait till they have a protection spell. We just gotta do it now. Or else we will die. It's slow, painful. And by slow and painful, I mean really fast and aggravating, excruciating death. And I get a sweeper. That ain't it. Next turn, I go Celeste to Spanishing Verse. Michiko? Crap. Oh, wait. At least they're only getting, like, plus two, plus two here with it, instead of, like, plus six, plus six. Am I going Sorin? Probably not. I'm gonna wait till they see what they target with Michiko. Burning that. Probably still kill this. Go to eight. Oh God. Can I get my cards back? Oh, that's a good card. So I can loot, gain a life. Farewell. Oh, perfect. Oh, perfect. I'm freaking go. Oh, yeah. We're broken. We're busted. I think I'm just gaining the life here. Even though I'm, even though I'm farewelling anyway. You are not much of a roadblock. I go creatures in graveyards. Creatures in enchantments graveyards. Keeping the land for Celestis in case they cast two spells. I bring war to this broken world. I bring my own army. Strike back. I hopefully don't kill my 3-4. If they have um, Circle of Confinement, I'm just like screwed. If they have Circle of Confinement plus another enchantment, I think I just die. No! Oh, why did I say anything? Why did I say anything? No! I no! Why? Oh, no! Are you serious? See you later.
This goes to a five? Dire times call for dire No, I want them to kill the Soren. There we go. All right, are we are we broken? Are we broken? Why do they have to have the exact cards that I said for them not to have? Borrow time. Oh, so they're going after me. Let this be over. Sure. They do that the dead. They're dead, I tell you. We're broken. Consider yourself fortunate. You will serve me well. Stop casting Katilda. Kill this, then I exile it. Get that out of here. I bring my own army. Let's freaking go. Stop drawing cards. Come on, let me have this. Stop fighting back. Let me have this game. I've done so much. Dire times call for dire tactics. Some think time only flows in one direction. What's up, Tommy? Thanks for coming back. Thanks for thanks for your Hello, support. Everybody. Four freaking months. Our life gain's gonna get us there. Our life gain will pull us through Pokemon. Oh. My ways are not for the weak. You're ready for some new. Thanks. I'll be taking that now. Don't worry. It's only a little mystery. Bless is putting in work. 
How many Planeswalkers can we play? Let's go! Number 98! We passed the 100 Mythic! Single digit! Changing stream title. Someone said in my in my Twitter comments that they, they would enjoy videos of people purely losing. Should I just should I just uh link them the video of me losing? I think I should just do that. Sounds like a good idea. Well, you're in luck. Link. Number 100, let's go, Mike. Agent Orange, what's up? Did I say triple digits? I meant double digits. Is that single digits? <laughs> All right, Shama Lama. Eep. Oh crap, I don't have white mana. Okay, I lose. I am prepared to die with three white mana. Okay, wow, they're deserted beach. I guess I'm definitely, definitely dead. Okay, can I stop drawing white mana, please? That'd be great. I would love to not draw white mana at all for the rest of this game. I would love, I would love it to draw something that mattered. Don't counter this, don't counter this, don't counter this, don't counter this. Saw it coming. Jawari. Mr. Landrop. Be greedy with this. Mr. Landrop. Greed. Let the greed consume you. Yes! Yes! Let's freaking go! They don't have Jawari disruption because they were greedy and used this one. Another one! They missed our land drop just to Juari me again! What? Why? Why? Why would they do that? No! Wow! Why would they purposely miss their land drop just for the hope that they can use Juari Disruption? That makes no sense! Let the greed consume you. Juwari with no land drop. Juwari's me anyway. Juwari's me without, with just purposely missing their land drop. Just to hope that I did it. Look at Juwari me again? Got a third one? They do have a third one. They, they played it as a land. Do you have a fourth one? Just as dark and musty as I remember. I never thought I'd miss the library. Level bottom jeans. Main phase deluge. They really need to find a bit plot. useful. 
crap. I need to put as much pressure on them this turn as possible because I don't want them to memory damage. Okay, cool. That was enough pressure. Perfect, I drew another card. One, two, three, four, five, six, hold up two mana. Never thought so I'd it's Morty this turn? Really. One, two, three, four, five, then I can't cast another Planeswalker. Uh, I should probably not attack with this because they have the Field of Ruin. But if, if they make them use Field of Ruin, they can't use Faithful Mending. I think I should probably go Morty. Morty minus. They probably have the march though. Require such little effort. But if they march my dog, especially because it's a 10-10, then they can't march my land, but they have Field of Ruin, so I'm gonna have to hope they don't have two marches. Another memory deluge. They could definitely die to this dog. Land. They gotta out this professor on us or else they'll die to it. It's gonna ultimate, and you best believe I'm ultimating it. They can die, but they have too many cards in hand to die. It says repeat this uh, six more times, but so seven times three is 21, so they can just take all the damage that they wanted to. So I'm definitely starting off by ultimating. Me. Me what if they go stifle? What a real <laughs> of I don't want to swing first because then they can kill Professor Onyx before it ultimates. It needs to be my first action. Leave me be. I'm reading. Fourteen damage. I should, I should just attack. Hit in for a fourteen fourteen doggo. That's unfortunate. I still have much to learn. I am almost sad to see you go. Wow, they have negate. I guess I'd rather than negate my fortel, negate negate my farewell than negate any planeswalker. I can create your doom in dog form. I need to attack with this this turn to force out their memory deluges. Then if I can do that, then I can cast my lull. Because then they still take three damage unless they draw a... 
Unless they draw um, exactly the one mana march on this. Is Nico good? I, th I think it's good as a one of. I'm playing it because I'm playing a Planeswalker deck, and if I wasn't playing a specific Planeswalker deck, I probably wouldn't be playing it. But it's still good. Okay, so I can X equals what this? equals two. It's gonna be awkward if they have a if they have a um, farewell here, but if, even if they do, I have Hive plus Planeswalker still here. Because if they fare well, then they can't memory deluge, and then I can exile it. Want a line, Mordenkainen? got sunset revelry oh they're gonna kill morty or nico no, they're gonna kill morty i mean i can i don't think i can kill them like i can kill the one ones but i don't think i can get the dog up to that much power can i Oh, I can say it can't be blocked. I actually think I might be able to win. Yeah, I can. Oh my gosh, is this lethal? Oh, please be lethal. Oh my gosh. Is this broken or is this broken? I think we're broken. <laughs> Oh my gosh, please don't kill my dog! Please don't kill my dog! If they kill my dog, I swear. Can't be blocked. Go 14-14 dog for lethal! Yes! 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 <laughs> Omega Giga Brain! You pet the dog. Pet the dog. What a great dog. <laughs> Meet your doom in dog form. Absolute galaxy brain play there that needs to be added to the loop. Oh, we can add that to the loop. Yes, I need to remember that. Add dog. Add doom in dog form. Clip the loop. It would it would actually help me if someone clips that. It would help me a lot if someone clips that, so I don't have to go in and spend like fifteen minutes trying to do that. That was broken. That was busted. We're broken, chat. I know Mike Wood loves to say that we're broken. Are we, like, almost undefeated with this? We've lost, like, once. We've lost twice. We're 80% right now. 8 and 2. We lost to Orzov. Oh, yeah, we lost to the Orzov um, discard deck. The one with um, the learn package and the cleric and the whatever it's called. And then we also learned lost to uh, green-white. I don't remember that loss. Oh, I lost to, I lost to green-white, like, yesterday. Like, well, I'll, I lost in playtesting to a deck playing, like, a bunch of Felidar Retreats and Scute Swarm and Storm the Festival. I don't remember how I lost, though. I thought I won that match. 
I guess not. But so far today we're we're like what six and one. Uh, let's double check our untapped here. How many games have we won? We won. One, two, three, four, five. We're five and one. Took in a total of seven. Seven plus eleven is eighteen. Plus five is twenty-three. Plus twenty is forty-three. Forty-four minutes. We have like one or two games left in us. Galaxy Brain JMO? Okay, cool. Sounds good. Let's watch it real quick. Or I'm gonna watch it. Yeah, I can. Oh my gosh, is this lethal? Oh, please be lethal. Okay, cool. That's a good clip. Alright. Well, well, well. I mean, we have all of our colors. We have Vanishing Verse and a Planeswalker and a Farewell. So I think this is a keep. We could definitely, I could definitely see myself dying here, but. Um. Overgrown farmland, could be runes. It is indeed. We're not playing any games with this. I don't. I don't play games with Kami of Transients. Honestly, I don't play games with this deck in general. This deck can kill you out of nowhere. If you have your instant speed card, just use them in your main phase. Play around like protection spells. That was a good draw here. I mean, it's okay. It's not like that good. But I just basically I just need to survive there are many until I can farewell them, and then hopefully we need to draw another farewell after this is over to like really stabilize. And then we'll we'll cast like a huge Nico. So that's the plan. I guess we can I guess we can farewell in two turns instead of three because we have to ferry to untap our lands. Oh my god, that's broken. This is why you don't play games. Oh, that's an insane draw. Oh wow. There's no secret I can't uncover. I can actually Teferi and, and Nico. But I think the play here is to just get rid of Kami now. I, I don't know if I want my Nico if I don't know if I if I want my Kaido to die or not. But I, so I might march. Oh. Oh god. Do I just kill this hell oh I I don't need to kill this hell hunting, right? I might just march Nico. Or march the Jukai. So I don't lose my Kaido. Like, I have more Planeswalkers that gain adva card advantage anyway. Like this one. Thanks. I'll be taking that now. Honestly, I might not even minus this. Because if I minus it, I farewell, I, I lose oh, my stuff with farewell. Yeah. But if I plus, if I zero this, then it, it I kind of telegraphs the farewell anyway. Plus, if they play enchantment creatures and not just regular creatures, I can exile enchantments only, and it gets rid of their creatures, but not mine. 
No one out shuffles JMO. <laughs> no one out shuffles me. Circle, that works for me. Wandering Emperor. Okay, so I think this is just a farewell turn then. Like if they double block, I, I get rid of I trade with the one one and then farewell. Token is in the Yeah, that's why I'm getting rid of these now. And I'll just make a 1-1 one -one with Kaido. Just so my Lolt doesn't die to Lair. My children will take care of you. Borrowed time. Gosh, farewell's such a blowout against that deck. I'm sure you'll miss me. Drawing cards is very good, well, Jet. What do we have here? Want to make it seem like I have Sock coming in my hand or something? I can also march exiling Wandering Emperor to exile the Borrowed Time and get my Lolf back. Never mind, not anymore. Well... Is that a bad use of Emperor? I probably need to just end this game. I don't really need to do that yet. Why would you win the game when you can just draw cards, Jeff? <laughs> There's no secret I can't uncover. The future looks bright for one of us. Let's go. You require my aid. <laughs> Seventy three. Desperate. Ah. Mm. God, what's the win rate on this? We're broken. We're like actually nuts. Like this deck is insane. This deck is scary to play against, for sure. What's our record again? 9-2 and two at 82%? We even beat the control deck. Number one plus seventy two.
I need to I need to show people that I'm 72 real quick just for the for the YouTube video 73 This is 82% win rate. We are like, what, 9 and 2 with the number 73 mythic. Like, insane. Now back to reality. We are back. I'm gonna to continue to play this. Well, do I just play this, or do you want do you want to see best of three, or do you want to continue me playing this in best of one? No, Kaya. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're not playing Kaya. We want best of one, or do we want to play something in best of three? Up to you guys. I know I know there's a lot of best of threeers in this chat, and uh, like you know some competitive players as well. But best of one has more variety. Does it really though? I mean, you say best of one has more variety, but we played four matches against green, white, and champions. Four. That's not variety. Granted, we're three and one, and it's like we beat them, so like, yeah, but... But, like, that's just not true. Excusez-moi. <laughs> Yeah, people people have said for a long time that there's more variety in best of one. I just don't think that's true. Like, I think it's some kind of fallacy. It, it has to be some kind of like optical illusion fallacy with the brain. Oh my gosh, the Kaya command still exists. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. All right, let's give a little bit of an outro here for this deck. All right, Jamers, if you made it this far... You are one of the 5%. Thank you so much for hanging out the entire way through. If you like these videos and my content, make sure to give a subscribe. We're doing a we're doing a Patreon Patreon uh, Patreon Patreon, if I can say that correctly. Twitch subscriber um, and YouTube member tournament next month. So if you'd like access to that, the description the links to all those things are down in the description below. So make sure to check those out if you'd like to have access to that tournament. Check me out on Twitch sometime. I'm live every single day around 11 or 12, uh, 11 or 12 Eastern until around 4, 4 or 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Make sure to come come by. If you're a lover of my content, you want to see me live, want to ask me some questions in real time, go ahead and check me out live. I'm here every single day. I'm streaming right now. Uh, and that's where I make these YouTube videos from, as you've seen in the videos. But thanks for watching, and I hope you catch the next one right over here. I'll see you there. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. And as always, peace. All right, so. Scrap the outro, try again. It was terrible. I think I want to keep playing this in best of one. I want to see how high in Mythic we can get. Was fun making two dogs or four spiders or two unblockables or two flying lifelink vamps. That's true. That is true. Let's say. We have this hand. No double white for Doomscar. No double white for Wandering Emperor. Opponent goes first. But we have turn two verse into turn three Kaido. So I think that means... 
this quill water pathway has to be black now. No, because we have blue black here. We'll turn one Shattered Sanctum, turn two Hall of the Storm Giants. No, it doesn't work. Hall of the Storm Giants doesn't really work with Vanishing Verse. It's unfortunate. We might have to go turn one Shattered Sanctum, turn two Black Source. It really depends on what they're playing. Red. Let's go! Z for 15 months in a row. Let's Thank you do. so much. You're insane. Appreciate you coming back. I guess this means we are playing this first, and then going for black mana for vanishing burst on turn two. Oh god, are they playing burn? Oh my god. Please don't play burn. They did not play with fire in my face. They're number 174. Oh my gosh, it's blue red. Okay, now I'm really yikesing here. Blue red's probably our worst matchup. Blue red and blue white are probably our worst matchups. Is this standard? Yes, it is. Oh my gosh, that clip is going straight into the loop. The one that where he killed them with a dog? From 13 out? Unblockable? We're drawing all the worst cards. You can't catch us. You may cut later the part that Morty says the line if you do post on Discord. Wait, what line was it again? The one where it's like, here's my ghost dog or something like that? God, I'm probably, I'm probably going to lose to this deck. This is probably like my worst matchup. Especially someone with a foil unexpected windfall. Like that means they 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 know they know what's up. They have foil. Like they are really invested in this deck. It, is that a bad line? Now this is a juicy secret. All right, hopefully they play Goldspan Dragon here. Battle of Frost and Fire? I did not expect that. Mission's compromised. Time to go. I hope you're ready to lose. Keep watch for intruders. I'm minusing this. Kind of bad if they have um, spike field hazard, but may your blade strike true. Battle of Frost and Fire is really, really good against us. But at least if they have Battle of Frost and Fire, they can't kill my Kaido because Kaido will phase out. Never 
just seen me coming. <laughs> There's no secret I can't uncover. And Spike Field. I guess that means they don't have Battle of Frostfire. Until next time. Because if they had it, they'd use it. Like minusing, minusing Wandering Emperor there was worse against one uh, Spike Foot Hazard, but better against any any three damage removal spell that they could have used. Two or three damage removal spell they could have used against the two two Vigilance. I'd much rather have a second Vigilance creature and make them deal with both of them. What do they have? Uh, Kaido gets out of range of Battle and Frost and Fire next turn. I should make sure I hold up this Vanishing Verse or... Gold Spin. Ooh. They can use that. Crap. Yikes. That's probably a one-up in their deck. That's his way to make as many tokens as possible right now, trying to build a jank deck. Um, probably all the three mana sagas. And then you're gonna wanna find like the two mana create tokens cards. Looking for a land. Perfect. Now, what do we have here? They probably play Jawari Disruption, but they probably also play Battle of Frost and Fire. So what do I want to play against? Well, I want to go Onyx and play around. I guess if I, if I go Onyx, they could just build with all the Storm Giants. Could just do nothing. I can go lull and then try to like march something. Lolth plays around Goldspan and Hall, but doesn't play around second battle of Frost and Fire. I think I like the Lolf that plays around more things. Plus, if they battle Frost and Fire, they can't they kill my Kaido anyway. I demand. I guess if I played Onyx and plused it, and they just killed it with Hall, then that would be good for me, because that would, be, would mean that I basically time locked them. Blot out the sky. That's a lot of mana, though, right? I got no uprising. There's also the there's also the um the three mana instant no, the three mana channel card that makes two pilots. There's the gold span. Kind of figured. It's okay. Loth was the good play into gold span because I can double block it unless they have like another spike field hazard. Uh, the March D-Gen Open is the 26th. So that's the same day as the Crokey's Tournament. But I can't play the Crokey's Tournament because...
I wonder if they have any removal spells. Prismari Command. Oh, that's actually a good... That's actually a really good card to have right now. Makes an additional token. A gift in exchange for loyalty. I need to block this. My will cannot be denied. And then I can just farewell. Farewell's not good against Jawari, though. So you don't like this line or something, or? Uh, what do I do here? I could just Doomscar. I think I can minus Kaido and then Doomscar and then make more Lolf. I think that's the play. And then that means I can still hold up Vanishing Verse. I got someone on the inside who can help. Geist Wave. I don't think I've seen that card. But with this play, I still get to kill my 1-1, one -one, and I still get to minus Wolf again. So I think this is the play. I've had. Okay, now if they have another battle of Frost and Fire, I'm freaking lose. Power is for annihilation. I don't lose because I have two more walkers, but still. It's gonna be tough. They geist waved my thing. And I don't want both to die. And I, the generous one. Fateful absence. Okay, I can just farewell this board. Oh, Morty called it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was the dog that delivered the doom. I think I want to play around. If I get Jawar Disruption, that's like really bad for me. But I'm not dead if I get Jawar.
Yeah, they had negate. That's unfortunate. Good minions are loyal and deadly. I'm minusing because I don't want to get attacked by this hall. <laughs> I've got all kinds of connections. But they can kill either one of my walkers here, but at least I'm not going to take hall damage. I mean, do I care if Kaido dies, or do I care if I have this 1-1? One, one? <laughs> you win this round. We will slay our I wonder what heads. that last card is. As long as it's not Geist Wave, I should be okay. Please don't. I guess they can draw a card off the clue. They... Oh my gosh, it's the gate. Are you serious? Another negate off the top. At least I still have Wandering Emperor in March. I'm really happy they did that. You caught me. And they can't field of ruin my hall and animate their hall. So what do they got off the top? Using stockfish is cheating? What does that mean? Oh, it was a chess joke. Best open source test engine. Ah, makes sense. Alright, now let's see if I can win with this Wandering Emperor. May your blade strike true. Under my tutelage. Even you can master death. Come on, there's gotta be something. Okay, useful. and I can't kill a gold span if they cast it. There's a, there's a gold span in the in the exile, and then there are there's one gold span in the graveyard. I think I'm okay now. Oh, I haven't answered a gold span now. That's good. So now I can do this. And then if they block with Hall, I can minus, I can minus Professor. We've got the edge in this fight. 
No, I'm not going to mine this professor because I have these marches and vanishing burst I want to use on this anyway. Or well, Wandering or Nico. I think Nico is insane here. Let's go. I love that Wandering Emperor makes Vigilance token. And I get to drain for Professor Onyx by using these cards? Okay, so they're just dead next turn. Strike fast and strike hard. Sick. I can't I can't actually can't believe we beat that deck. That seems like a really hard matchup. But we can attack them for six. Even if they kill both of these, I can like, even if they kill one of these, I can hit them to three, go to the five, and then I can march the one they targeted. They go to three, march this. March the three, three, march this. They take four versus the one they targeted also, and then they go to two and then die from this three, three. So it plays around. Like I can use all three of these to kill them with Professor Onyx. Uh, even if they go to remove my three, three. You're once again asking Watsu to reprint Elder Spell. That card wasn't even... That card was barely playable. When Elder Spell was in Standard. It was like... It was like a sideboard one of. Or like a two of. Or like maybe people main decked one of it. In like that... Uh, that uh, Dreadhorde deck. What was that deck again? Red Horde, bring everything back. Command the Dread Horde. Like you'd play three. <laughs> it was like in some kind of Sultai Command the Dread Horde deck. That was like insane and standard with Cameo. It played like Tamio. It played this Tamio and Command the Dreadhorde. And it played um Explore. It played like what was it? What was it again? This, this, this. I loved this deck. Oh my god, I want to play this deck again. Like this deck was broken back when back in standard. What was that like? Um, it was War of the Spark Standard. Like, this is when I really got back into playing Magic, is during this format. It was like, you would gain a bunch of life with Wild Growth Walker, because it gains three life and put a 1-1 counter on it, whenever you explore. And you had, like, four Branch Walkers that explored, and four Daily Rangers, which explores, and this explores twice. And then you, like, fill your bin with Tamiyo, and, like, bring things back, and, like, you can, like, loop Command the Dread Hordes over and over again. It was broken. God, this deck was so good. It was, like, impossible to beat. Unless you, like, got rid of Wild Growth Walker, like, right away. And, like, cards like a Braid and Dragon's Fire, like, weren't in the format. So you would need, like, light, like actual Lightning Strike. Kill this. What else was in the format during that time? It was Lightning Strike and something else. What was the other three damage spell? In the standard, I mean, you could have like, oh, it was cast down. Yeah, you could have cast down. Destroy target non legendary creature. Like, this deck was like real good for a while. That was a fun deck, but seriously, I'm just not a planeswalker person, and only having one sweeper for them and it being six man is kind of absurd. Uh, yeah. That's blood in the snow, right? Planes. Walkers. 
destroy. Yeah. Choose a creature or planeswalker, then destroy all other creatures and planeswalkers. How about an eight mana destroy planeswalkers? How about eight mana, chat? But it's also a human cleric for three mana. Deadly Vanity. What if you unironically played this? There's also the Elder Spell. That's even worse. I can't say I haven't played this card, though. Um, the Elder Spell, which was really good back in, like, this standard. It wasn't really good, but it was, like, sideboard one of or two of. Because people were playing, like, Nisu, Shakes the World, Karn Great Creator, freaking Narset, Amio, Garbage from War of the Spark. Uh, Teferi, Time Raveler, Teferi, Hero of Dominaria, yikes, 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 yikes. And then the Elder Spell would kind of get rid of those. Plus, you would do, like, really interesting um, Nickel Bolas plays where you would play a, a Planeswalker deck with, like, Sarkin the, the Masterless and, and stuff, but you would have your Nickel Bolas, um... Elder Spell, all of your other Planeswalkers outside of Nicol Bolas, and then Elder Spell would put two loyalty counters on it on your Bolas for each Planeswalker destroyed, and then you would ultimate Bolas and win the game. That was like a legitimate win condition. And then you have blood this Bolas. It's right at, wow, it's actually right here. Nicol Bolas um, has the, all loyalty abilities of all other Planeswalkers on the battlefield. And then you can draw a card, and then they exile a card that they control or in their hand, and then you can minus three to destroy a creature or planeswalker. And then minus eight, each opponent who doesn't control a legendary creature or planeswalker loses the game. So you Elder Spell all their planeswalkers, and then all of your own, and then make this, like, ten loyalty the turn you play it and win. You haven't seen the walker package in a while? I know, right? Yeah, I love, love, love this deck. But, honestly, my favorite deck ever... Wait, where's my Jade Light Ranger? My favorite deck ever was a Jun deck. I'm just gonna, like, build, like show you what the deck was real quick. I really want this deck to be good, but it's just not. I think I played, like, two Shocks. I'm gonna do this art because it's it's an older art. I'm gonna play the shock from that format. M20. I played like a couple Assassin's Trophy. I played Rekindling Phoenix. I played Liliana. Dreadhorde General. I don't know how many of these I played, but I played it. This this deck was like all freaking over the place. Not all over the place, but like I was the only person that played this. But um the mana was like ridiculous. I'm I'm surprised I wanted to play Jaylight Ranger and Rekindling Phoenix in the same deck and Liliana. But we did have the we did have the shocklands, stomping ground, overgrown tomb, and uh, and um, blood crypt. Can't just blood crypt. You missed blood braid elf into blightning. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't play during that format. Yeah, here's the Wild Growth Walker Explore package here. I don't think I played any other Explore creatures. I think for a little bit, for a little bit, I played Seeker's Squire. Because it explored as a black card. Maybe maybe I played two Seeker's Squire, actually. Maybe was, I played like one or two of it. I'm pretty sure. Like what? Else? I don't even remember what else I played. Cast down, I think. I 
I think this was before Nissa came out. No, it was after Nissa came out. No, it, w it was after this after this came out that I played Liliana. But before Liliana came out, I didn't play it because I played this deck before I played this deck before War of the Spark came out. As you can see, all these are like Ixalan and Rivals of Ixalan and Dominaria cards. And also, um, uh, Guilds of Ravnica cards. I need to look up all the Guilds of Ravnica cards that are... Like these cards? That I might have played. Like, did I play any of these? I don't think so. You would think that in this kind of deck, Legion Warboss would be good, but I didn't play it. Growth Chamber Guardian. Yeah, I played that too for a while. I think I might have played Growth Chamber in this deck. This card was so freaking good. I know I played a crap ton of removal. Fine, fi oh yeah, I played Fine Finale too. Braska, I know I played. I don't know how many of it I played, but I played it. Did I play Gruel Spellbreaker? I don't think so. Did I play this? I don't know, you'd think I would. Maybe that maybe that was it? I guess I need to look at the Dominaria cards. Dominaria four nineteen. Did I play any of these cards? I might I might actually still have the deck somewhere. Oh, these cards are bad. God, I remember these cards. These cards are awful. Good freaking lord. I mean, Steel League Champion kind of dominated the standard for a little bit. I think I played Thorn Lieutenant in my sideboard, too. Vivian? I don't even think I played Vivian. Oh yeah, Woodland Cemetery. Oh yeah, the checklands were, were legal. Broken. We're broken. Maybe that's all I maybe that's the whole deck. Unless you control. Were these the only check lands in this format? No, oh, Dragon Skull Summit was here. But they just came out in Ixalan. Fruitbound Crag and Dragon Skull Summit. Like, this was, like, somewhere close to the deck I played. But I, I just don't remember what else I played. But this deck was legit. I put in some work with this. Maybe I played three Assassin's Trophies? I don't think I play Gruel Spellbreaker. We I I, I want to just like play this deck in like the random play queue and just like 
Just play with it for fun. I'm trying to remember the other cards I played, though. I don't think it was Cool Spellbreaker. Maybe it was, like, more cast downs. I don't think I played any sweepers. Maybe, I, I think Cry of the Carnarium was a card that we could play. Well, I, I, I want to remember the last couple of cards I played in this, but I just can't remember right now. Was there any one mana black removal spells in this format? Hey, uh, one second. I'm going to end my stream right now. Oh, sorry. No, it's okay. One second. I'm going to I'm going to mute myself real quick. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna do. The, I'm gonna make this deck and just play it for fun at some point because I just like really like that deck and I'm gonna try to find the find my cards for it. But hey, I have a, I have a meeting with MTG Nerd Girl, so um, we're gonna go ahead and send you off to somewhere else here. No, Fatal Push actually wasn't in that format. Uh, I don't know. I think that's why I played Shock though, was because there was like hardly any cards that I could play. All right, guys, we're going to go over to Brad Nelson. He's one of the owners of MTG Melee, so he's helped me out a lot with the tournaments and is actually helping me out a lot with Stream League and happening on the 27th. Um, you can type an exclamation point SL or Stream League um, in the description or find it on my Twitter. And uh, we still have, we're still doing 64 players, and we have a lot of players left to be added. So if you want to play, make sure you go to uh, that link. Type an exclamation point SL, click the link, and register if you'd like to play. There is a, it is a championship qualifier, so the top four players will get access to being to skip the line and just be right into the mythic championship qualifier for april so also a thousand dollars of cool stuff inc.com store credit is being given out as well and also nine thousand uh total mtg arena gems are given out as well so thank you to brad nelson for mtg and mtg melee for being able to provide that and for cool stuff inc.com for uh sponsoring the tournament as well but we're going to go over to brad nelson right now thanks for hanging out and i will see you tomorrow and as always goose gang out well, let's go